All right, what's going on YouTube? This is another quick cheese video. Now, the, at the end of the day, this is not a great start because um, you just stay at two worker. Um, you know, and that's just kind of how it works. Some of these cheese starts, they're not meant to be great. Um, the biggest thing with this one is if you go canopy early, you're kind of iffy on a lot of waves. Canopy is not great necessarily on four. Um, it's not great on five for sure. Um, it can get countered really hard on five by just a single brute. Um, it's good six, seven, eight, and nine as a damage dealer. Um, the hardest part with canopy though is you need to g give it time to heal. You don't really gain enough value out of it from healing unless it's alive for like, you know, 10 to 20 seconds, then you're gonna start seeing its scale, right? But regardless, this is a cheese video. It's meant to just give you a weird strat you can try out. So you do canopy on one, and then you theoretically can go for three worker. The problem is if you get snailed, you die. We tested it, you know, it's 67% it's leak. I think you end up with like 171 gold or 173 gold, which puts you out of the range of income sending to get the canopy out the next wave. This is the nine income is if you locked in, which is a majority of players are playing lock in or, or reroll as they're new. You send a snail on one or king up, whatever it may be. Your best bet is to just stay with the canopy, wait it out, make sure you don't die, um, and then kind of go from there. So if you do get a snail on one, you're gonna leak, you can't go an extra worker, but if you don't get a snail on one, you can definitely go three worker or four work, or three worker right away, get canopy upgraded, and then kind of go from there. So let's just do greed is good and get ourselves a lot of gold. Now we're going to test to see if this will hold on three on three to a brute because that's, you know, such an obvious strat for new players. Let's see here. I'm actually pretty confident this will hold no problem. It's one shotting everything. So it's actually probably going to hold easier than um, Harb, Harb did. Harb had troubles because it's going to have to two shot everything. Kano just literally sits here and just munches away on everything in the wave pretty easily. It does get low, as you can see, down to 800 and some health, 700 health. But the problem is the, uh, the Brute doesn't do enough damage to actually continue to chunk away at it past like 500, 400 or so. Um, so very easy way to hold three if you're going to get brutes, which again, very common strat in the lower elos. Um, you're going to need to worry about wave four as well. Um, but honestly, wave four with just a decent split, um, is going to be more than fine. The biggest thing with Kano is if you just have some decent tanks, even just a single thing like a golden buckler, um, you're actually a lot stronger on four than you realize. But yeah, you're a lot stronger on four than you realize. You have two shot units, so I think if you had a better split here, an actual even split, unlike what I just had, um, you'd hold a lot closer to full. But um, you can even see here, the cano's not leaking that bad, and you're at 345 value. Excuse me. And uh, you're just gonna leak brute, or brute in one unit. Like, I'd take this all day at 345 value. If you have something like Pilgrim, this becomes extremely easy to hold. Extremely easy to hold. Um, Pilgrim makes Canopy way stronger because you're gaining that, that missing health back immediately. Um, and at that point, you can easily hold four, five, or six for that matter. Um, the biggest thing is, is it's just, it's a lot of value, right? Um, canopy is already by itself. 275 gold so if you wanted to have a pilgrim here you'd be at what Welcome yeah you'd be at 410 so you're way overvalued you'd even be overvalued realistically for wave five for that matter um the biggest thing though is if you're going to do pilgrim with a canopy early game it's two two rows keep that in mind um two rows for pilgrim canopy and then it will split tank most of the time correctly um and it will full tank if you want full tank later you literally can just add a unit here 
cause the uh, cause the split to go a little higher and Canna will full hold. Um, the nice thing about Canopy in this kind of cheese start is that you can just go Warg, right? Wargs with this are really strong. It makes you good like mid game too. Wargs are really powerful mid game. It's an easy thing. Then you can go Lioness here. Lioness is already buffed by one unit. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can always, you know, alpha male up front here, whatever it may be. This is a pretty good build for like, let's say wave t uh, 10, or even wave 11. You're sitting in a pretty solid spot. There's a lot of value, obviously, for wave uh, 10. Eh, it's about on value, I should say, right? Yeah, wave 10's 1190. So this is a pretty solid start. Um, if people have questions on what you think you can combine with this, let me know in the comments and I can give you guys some more insight. Um, this is just a quick cheese video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time. Peace.